So in this video, uh, we're going to go over the worksheet uh, that I gave on Friday. If you don't have that worksheet, you can look on Schoology and find it. Um, and then since you're in the computer lab, I think I put paper in the printer so you can print it out also. Um, the worksheet that's online goes up to, I don't know, uh, I think number 22. And... Um, I'll, I'll be labeling these as we go because mine aren't, for some reason, aren't numbered when I got it from my iPad. So um, I'll be going over these. Check your answers. Uh, after I explain something, maybe write it down, like pause it, and try to do it on your own. Um, and that's all. That's all we're going to have for today. So in the, in the video and the PowerPoint presentation that you were supposed to have watched uh, a while ago, the definition of thermo thermodynamics was defined as the study of the effects of work, uh, heat flow, and energy on a system. So it's it, thermodynamics is talking about uh, work being done, probably transferred into heat, um, heat energy, thermal energy. Examples of a thermodynamic system uh, are pretty, pretty simple. Um, we could just think of it as the system and its surroundings. So like uh, maybe ice melting in water. The system would be the ice and the water. Uh, the surroundings would be the, I guess, everything else. But, um, yeah, like ice in a water, in, in a water. Any, any system where there's being heat transferred. Uh, so, like, even in, uh, shoot, uh, like when a rocket lifts off, the, the surrounding air getting, like, heated up, um, and uh, I'm going to say the thermodynamic system would be inside a microwave when you heat up food. These are all examples of thermodynamic systems. Um, it's just a system where heat is being transferred from one thing to another. From, from the, the PowerPoint, uh, it says that thermal, di uh, thermal energy is the kinetic energy that's in transit from one object to another due to temperature difference. So um, it's the, the kinetic energy, so the particles the moving particles that are bouncing that are creating friction and causing heat. Um, thermal energy is that energy that's in transit, that's being transferred from one thing to another. So there you go with that. Define temperature. Temperature, um, we, we normally would think of it like temperature. Uh, oh yeah, that's when you're like hot or cold or something. Um, but that's the average kinetic energy that's involved or that's inside an object. So it's a, it's a measurement. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and write down the numbers for this. Uh, that was one. Oh, shoot. Let me hold on. That was one through four. And we're going up to 22, baby. Uh, so that's, that's that. Make sure you're checking your answers. Um, and if you don't have these written down, write them down. The next thing that we have... Um, well, this is actually number five and six. And we have this uh, this chart to fill out, which was easy just because we had the chart uh, on the notes. Um, so the, the freezing point of water is Celsius. In Celsius is zero degrees Celsius. And the boiling point, point is 100 degrees Celsius. This is actually how... Um, how Celsius is defined. It's just defined around uh, pure water. And the freezing point would be zero degrees, and then they just decided, okay, and then the boiling point would be 100 degrees, and then everything else went from that. Fahrenheit is weird, um, and is not defined that way, and that makes it, in my brain, silly. But uh, 32 degrees is the freezing point, and to 12 degrees Fahrenheit is the boiling point for water. One story of uh, how Fahrenheit was created, uh, Fahrenheit, the scale, is uh, this dude named uh, Gabriel, no, Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit. He, he was making a thermometer, and uh, it was the first mercury thermometer, uh, which is what uh, we have in a lot of thermometers. Um, but he he was was using like a stable mixture of uh like salt um no not salt like water 
ice and like ammonium chloride. Um, that's how we got a zero degrees Fahrenheit. And then the mixture of uh, water and ice, like when it was mixed together, it was like the melting point of ice, um, was 32 degrees, and then the boiling point was, uh, or around that. I mean, it wasn't exactly, it was adjusted later, but um, the Fahrenheit scales based on the, the invention of a mercury thermometer. So that's, that's kind of cool. And then Kelvin, people were thinking about, well, what's, what's the coldest that you can get? And that is when there is absolutely no motion. Uh, in the in the particles, no kinetic energy, and that was just based on the the Celsius scale. And they just said, okay, well, we'll say that zero degrees Kelvin is going to be, or zero Kelvin's is it's going to be absolute zero. And then, whoops, uh, and then they just looked, okay, well, if that's zero, we're going to use the same kind of scale as Celsius. Uh, it'll just be like adjusted over. So the the freezing point of water is 273 degrees or 273 kelvins and then the boiling point is 373 uh, kelvins it's just a difference of 100 just like in celsius so there you go fill in the table with the correct scale in units there then done uh, define absolute zero we kind of already did that that's when all kinetic energy uh, is gone from a system so I will write that and that's the coldest that you can get. Um, yeah. They actually have a really, really interesting way. I don't really understand it all the way, but there's an interesting way to measure uh, really, 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 really low temperatures. They can get, like, very, very low. It's, it's cool. Um, so, yeah, absolute zero. Cool. Uh, what do we have here? Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Define thermal equilibrium. I'm probably going to stop this video soon. Um, well, thermal equilibrium is just when two objects touching reach the same temperature. I'm going to continue with number eight uh, in the next video. Okay, okay.